Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is Liam here uh, from Vfink11, and today, if you couldn't tell, we're playing Terraria. And for the, those of you who play this game, you know that uh, on the starting menu, there's a background, and you may be wondering, uh, Liam, where's the background? Well, I started playing this game, and the lag I got was awful. Like, I would not want to watch a video, uh, from this, or like that, so, I'm, I decided that I'm, uh, just gonna turn the background off, because I think the background reduces quite a lot of lag, and if not, then I have one more thing that I'm gonna try, and if that doesn't work, guys, then I guess I'm not gonna be doing Terraria, which, you know, you guys probably won't know. Because this video wouldn't come up if nothing works. Anyway, I'm gonna. I've already uh, spawned in this world because I was gonna start my series. Anyway, and then there's lag. I haven't killed anything. I haven't gotten any items. I spawned in on top of the guide, and the slime was next to us. And I no started noticing the lag when I tried moving around. But anyway, <sighs> let's just let the liquid settle, and uh, we can begin. So I want to just, uh, the start of this video, just get my goal straight, and I want to, uh, fight all the bosses, and, you know, beat the game, go to hard mode, and just do all that. Now, the hard thing about this is, I'm not doing it multiplayer. Um, I'm going to be trying this solo, and, um, it probably won't work out, because I know for a fact that most of the bosses, um, despawn if the player if there are no players near them for example I can go be fighting Skeletron and he could kill me like he probably will end up doing that and then I'll just respawn somewhere but it'll take me a few seconds so yeah and he will be uh, yeah he'll despawn Okay, so here I am in the world. It's not really that laggy right now. It's like a lot better. So we're just going to uh, chop some trees down and get a house for Dylan here. I think that was his name. And uh, I'm probably going to build it like right about here-ish. Yeah, right about here looks like a decent place for a starting house. Don't want to build anything too big or too far from spawn, you know, just, um, you know, that would be bad. But, um, okay, I now have time on this video. At the time of recording, it is 6.30. I'm going to go to 6.45, which, just so you guys don't have to do the math, if, you know, the math was is hard for you, um, it's 15 minutes. Uh, so this video is probably going to be around 16 to 17, because just the in little intro I did. But, uh, here we are, just collecting all the stuff for the guide, and I don't even think I'm chopping this tree down right here. Okay, yeah, I am now. But, um, so we're gonna build a little starting house, and, uh, I was mining the... Okay, that stinks. Alright, um, we're gonna build a little starting house for the guide. Um, and once we got a starting house... I'm probably going to end the episode once it hits Terraria nighttime or spend a total of 15 minutes. Now, um, I'm probably actually going to wait for 15 minutes. But I've cleared a good chunk of this forest, and um, I just need to make sure that I can get a house. Now, if I remember correctly, the house is, has to be 6 tall and 10 wide. So let me count out. One, two, three, four, up, two, four, five, six, yeah, this looks right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten. Yes. Okay. So here we go. Got a little, the beginning of a little house for the guy, and actually I don't need all those blocks there, so let's just chop, chop, and there we go. And I'll do the same on this side. 
think now uh, me and the guide will be able to get in and out. But, um, okay. So, let's escape. Uh, and I can uh, build a little crafting bench. Yeah, let's just wait for that to load. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And, um, oh, I just to escape again. I've been playing a lot of, um, Cube World lately. For those of you that don't know, I'll be making a little, I mean, I'll be doing a Let's Play, but I'll be mostly doing a, uh, uh, tutorials. Let, they'll be coming out a lot more frequently than Let's Plays for a while, because, um, I'm probably going to be a mage, but, yeah, there's a lot of Let's Plays for that game, so... So it doesn't look like I can do that. I was really hoping I could, because that would have been amazing. But I need to craft two doors here. And uh, for those of you that don't know, you can't. Nothing can be considered a house until it has uh, some paneling, at least in Terraria logic. Now I'm uh, I'm lagging a little just because of recording, so don't expect. Um, so just um, bear with me, because. It's a little irritating with me, crafting might be a little slow, but it looks like moving around isn't th that bad. I, I mean, I've had worse lag playing on servers. So, the guide uh, looks like he's showing his face, but let's just get these places placed down in here. And I'll eventually make a floor. You guys will see, it'll be, it'll be nice. I mean, it'll look really pretty. I already know what I'm gonna do with this house. Um, how it's gonna look when it's done. It, I know if I'm gonna be making a village or if I'm gonna be making a complex. Or like, not, not a complex, like a hotel building. And it's gonna be a hotel building. Just because it, simply it's easier. I do. I, um, fell down there. You know what? I don't need the guide, but I don't like how he's needed uh, in the game. Because what you do is you uh, eventually will obtain a voodoo demon. Or you'll find a voodoo demon, and he'll drop a voodoo doll. And the voodoo doll is conveniently of the guide. So you kill your guide to fight the boss. I mean, the guide will eventually respawn, but if you fail the boss, you know, you have to wait for a new guide, because otherwise you're just going to waste a perfectly good voodoo team, uh, doll. Now, I just need to kill this guy, and I'll uh, make some torches, because the um, it, this can't be considered a house until there are tor torches in it, which um, is weird, because I mean, this house, nothing can spawn in here anyway, because it, uh, it has a background. So here we go. I'm uh, also just going to place a torch right outside. And here we go, we've got the starting house. And um, I'm probably not going to do any mining this first episode, um, just because it's a pain in the butt locating caves, and I want to start that as a separate episode. So, um... Let's get to uh, chopping down some trees and kind of uh, flattening this area. It's getting a nice flat area for um, uh, the future. And you know, getting some wood and all this stuff. For those of you guys that uh, don't know, actually probably none of you know, but some could have guessed, I'm playing on Softcore, and in this game there are three different game modes, Softcore, Medium Core, and Hardcore. You know, hardcore is just like Minecraft, one life. Um, medium core is you drop everything on death, and soft core is you only lose your coins. And I'm only doing, uh, only losing my coins because if I um, happen to die in the um, underworld, which I will die several times in the underworld, you know, I'll, my inventory will be gone, and that'll be bad. That would be very bad. Now I did change, I actually just changed my mind, this is probably going to be a 10 uh, to 13 minute video, because I need the bathroom, which I didn't before I started recording. 
Yay, fun. Okay, um... So, I am just going to, um... Whew, chop down the rest of these trees and then flatten out this area. Um, just because I need, uh, to get this area clear. I'm gonna end up building a bridge to the other side of that land over here. Um... At, I'm going to have like a guard tower guarding the uh, because there there's blood moons where the zombies will rise and they'll raid you and it's like a pain it's just a big pain and meanwhile there's um there's also goblin armies and these army of goblins will invade and I mean you just need to be defend you need to defend yourself from all this. So I like to build these um, big towers that the goblins and the zombies have to break down the doors to get in. Meanwhile, I'm laying waste to them with arrows and sometimes dropping bombs. And, uh, or if, if I have a gun, you know, shooting at them. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Now it looks like it's turning nighttime relatively soon here. The music should change what it does, but for now I'm just going to uh, clear out this hill like I said I would, and then I'll you know, just make this look nice because I'm going to be building a little town right here. Uh, the first civilization in the world of ooh, big lag strike right here. Sorry about that. Uh, the first civilization in the world of Terraria. Uh, this is gonna be how it's gonna be like when I go mining all the time. This will be awful. Um, I'm probably gonna do, end up doing most mining off camera. Like I'll give you guys like a taste of what it's like to go mining and how repetitive it can be. I mean, it's really rewarding at the same time. You can find a lot more stuff that you can in other games, like uh, Minecraft. There's a lot more loot. So, um, I don't like how my escape key. Isn't responding. I need to uh, get the dirt in my inventory, which I did not know I already had. Let's just um, just gonna dirt over this area here. If that's what I think it is, well, we're in a lot of luck. Is this a pinky? It's a pinky. Now these things have a lot of health, but they drop. A lot of loot. And the bad thing about them is, is it seems to be hitting me for quite a lot. But like I said, I'm lagging, so combat's not the easiest for me. I'm kind of pinned up at a wall right now, and pinkies are not easy to hit. Oh wow, my sword isn't even really swinging. Hmm. Well, guys, I'm going to actually end the recording here, probably, when this pinky ends up killing me. I'm going to pull out uh, my axe. Just uh, let this pinky feel my wrath. Yeah, he's hitting like six on me. I can hit a one on him. This is totally fair. What I'm going to do is I'm going to end this recording because I stop getting this. It's because I'm going to stop getting all this lag. And uh, also because I have to get going a minute. And, um, you know, when I stop getting all this lag, I can, uh, kill the pinky, which will be good, because he drops a gold coin on death. But anyway, guys, I've been Liam, you've been watching The Finkel 11, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.